Hey everyone, welcome back to Mystic Spiral. My name is Willem. And this is Final Fantasy 1. Last time we went through the volcano, defeated the fire demon, and stored one of the crystals. Hey, Jacuzzi, welcome. And we went through the ice cavern and got the levy stone. Hey, you were looking for the levy stone, right? So, I'm sorry I swooped in and, <laughs> and stole that. 07734. 07734, Yakuzi. <laughs> You've been after the Levystone for 10 years. The cave to Norbert's promising, but I can't go. I never heard the end of it from my world. Well, don't worry about it. Don't worry, because we've been looking for it since yesterday, since you told us about it, and now we got it. So, yeah. Sorry about that, we swoop out the treasure. My husband is always telling me that. Yeah, okay. So now that we have the Levy Stone, what do we do with it? Well, then I know what to do with it, but where do we go? Hey, well, what is Mystica Spiral? Like, where did you get the name from? Oh, that. That is a really good question, Jacuzzi. So, you know, back in the day, there was a name, there was a show called Daria. And it was this, like, girl. You know, she, she, she looked like a hipster, but she's just a cynical girl that had to deal with, with the teenager, uh, yeah, teenager stereotypes bullshit. And she didn't really like it. She was in, in high school. And one of her friends, her name was Jane, had this band. He was a guitar player of a band called Mystic Spiral. So the name of the band is constantly changing every every time they showed up. They were they were playing on gigs, they were on stage and they were and he was like, hey, my name is Mystic Spiral, but we might change our name later. And sometimes even when they stop playing, they already change the name. So they enter the stage and they're like, we're Mystic Spiral, but they play the song. And then by the end, well, we are like Crimson Fire or something. <laughs> it was already a different band name. But they always return to the name Mystic Spiral. And, and it, was, it was a fun show. Look for it, Daria. It aired on MTV. And that's why that's why I it, why cho I chose that name, because I really didn't know how to name the channel. And my sister was like, hey, you should name it Mrs. File because you might change the name later. <laughs> and I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, we are Mystical Spiral, I will, but we might change the name later. So, I don't know the legit way to figure out where to use the Levy Stone. I know where to use it because I played this game a hundred times. But I don't remember who tells you, hey, take the Levy Stone here and something cool will happen. Yeah, <laughs> it's so silly. There's only one viewer I've had that knows uh, knows the actual origin of the story without asking. She was like, oh cool, it's like the band from Daria. And I was like, yeah, somebody got him. Fuck it, I'm just going to come over here. It's in this desert. Just come to this desert, you got the Levy Stone, so this kicks in. Blood is happening, guys. There it is. We 
we got the airship. And now we're free to do all kinds of shit in this game. Come here. Yeah! Oh my god, it's way slower than I remember. How far are we in Final Fantasy 1? I? I think we're 50% done with the game. If I really put my mind into it today, I can beat it today. This is Pravoka. Second town you visit. There are many monsters in all the NC, so those monsters are shit. They mean nothing to me. Hey, I fled here from Melmont to come far to the west. Yeah, Melmont is a shithole of a town. I come here for provisions. I need to restock. So let's do it. Here is the item shop. We are. We miss two more crystals, a couple extra dungeons, and. Yeah, some side quests too. It's crazy because as someone who's never played Final Fantasy 1, I recognize some track, some things. Yeah. It's all. Uh, well, Final Fantasy has never changed the the fanfare from the victory. Actually, no. I th I think that they changed it in 13. Don't quote me on that. No, man. You, I got what you, what I need. Ah, uh, actually, sell me another cottage, please. One of these and one of these. Thank you. So, yeah, I remember when I played Final Fantasy VII for the first time, it's been years, if you, if you stand in my shoes, it's been fucking five years since I played the last Final Fantasy. I skip seats. I get attacked by this fucking asshole in my own ship. Hey, what are you doing here? Get out here. Fuck you. And when I played... My first impressions of Final Fantasy VII are negative, by the way. Because you see Aerith, uh, she was taking a shit in the alley, or I don't know what she was doing over there. And then she steps out to the street, and you see the car pass by, and that's when I frown. What is a car doing in my Final Fantasy game? Let's go, let's go explore these holes. Um, and I didn't like that. I didn't like there were cars, there were cities, it was uh, there were skyscrapers and shit. I I didn't want that. I wanted castles and and swords and shit. I wanted fantasy in my Final Fantasy, no cyberpunk bullshit. But then I played the game a little while. I was having so much fun and uh, around 30 minutes. No, no, no. It was way later. I mean, I was having fun, but I was not admitting it. It was until the bike section, you know, you're escaping from Shinra, and you ride the bike. I didn't pay attention to what those dragons told me, by the way. <laughs> and that's when I admitted, okay, this game is awesome. <laughs> shut up, shut up, Goggle. I want to hear your shit. So this is the dragon cave. Well, this place looks important. We're here looking for someone. Here it is. Look at it. Oh, there are a lot of crosses from their, their destroyed enemies, probably. This is the chamber of Bahamut, the Dragon King. Mind your shit. The Dragon King looks within to measure a person's true courage. And by that we mean his dick. Oh shit, they changed his design. He looks way cooler. I am the Dragon King of Ahamut. I confer upon you... Oh, no, 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 not yet. I confer upon those whose strength and courage are true. Return to me with a token of your courage. You know, like a big sword or a statue or an idol. Something cool, you know? <clears throat> I see so Final Fantasy VII must be a big part from Final Fantasy Formula. Not that big. Not that big. Uh, 
maybe if I hadn't skipped Final Fantasy VI, I would have been more accepting because Final Fantasy VI also has a lot of sci-fi elements. There are robots, there's a combination of magic and science and stuff. But since I skipped it, I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I skipped from Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, Final Fantasy IV, what, what over here was Final Fantasy II to Final Fantasy VII. So Final Fantasy IV was still very traditional. Knights, castles, dragons, all that good shit that I love. Once, long ago, there was an age where men and dragon lived together. Okay, <laughs> that, that's all I have to say. And that's all there is in this room. Sweet. Okay, so we have to prove our courage to King Bahamut. You can land in the mesh? No, you can't. So I have to land over here. This airship can only land on the greens. So, forests. Eh, forests, mountains. Hey, don't give me the cold shoulder. There we go. Once long ago, Northland was filled with beautiful shrines and tone mechanical castles. So very long ago. Once long ago, Final Fantasy games have <laughs> have command battle, turn-based battles, and shit. The dragon of the Cardian Islands had no love for self, self senseless killing. Okay. You, you, sir, speak weirdly. The dragon of the Cardian Islands has no love for senseless killing. Okay. I have no love for senseless killing either. Unless I'm playing something like Grand Theft Auto, then I don't care. Oh, shit. I want to lead, sir. It's a rare thing to have humans visit us here, really. If you are valiant warriors, you should speak with Bahamut, the king of dragons. Or something. Yeah, we got that. We got that. He gave us the side quest to to test our Baylor. What was? We need to find something to prove our Baylor. Again, we are getting attacked from my own airship. I see where this game stands. So, which Final Fantasy games have you played, Yakuzi? I'm Poison. Only seven. I know a lot of people that has only played Final Fantasy VII. They're like, oh, I love Final Fantasy, but I've only played seven. Well, that's cool. That's completely acceptable. But you know, you're missing a lot of cool games, like one. Chris is one of them. <laughs> you, you're missing on a lot of good games, like Final Fantasy I. I should buy normal potions too. Maybe not. You haven't played any yet? Oh, bro. Maybe, maybe turn-based RPGs are not your thing. That's okay. Because you have to get really into turn-based combat for classic Final Fantasies. What I like about new Final Fantasy is that since they're not turn-based combat, they attract more people. That and that they put, you know, Tifa in all kinds of... Nice, an Edge Potion. They're also in this game. They put Tifa in Aerith in nice outfits. They have, they have them giggling around. You know, every 30-year-old dude fantasy. Maybe that's why it's called Final Fantasy. <laughs> Weird for me. I love the idea of RPGs like Final Fantasy and Persona, but I find it hard to sit through and actually complete the games. Oh yeah. Way before I played the first Final Fantasy. Nothing over here? No. Uh, we always got sold the idea that RPGs were boring. And they were just talking and talking and shit. And for someone who played you know, like Ninja Turtles game, Mario. Oh shit! 
So, I'm doing this in order, but if you're clever enough, you can get the canoe, get the ship, sail all the way over here, take the ship with the canoe over here, and do this dungeon way earlier than you're supposed to. It's gonna kick your ass, but you can do it. Oh, I can't land here. Come on, game. Come on, game. You know, I'm doing that. I am doing that. Let's go. Where's my ship? It's north. It's gonna take some time, but I'll get there sooner or later. Here it is. Ah. There we go. Okay. Let's take the ship. Sail south. Oh, this is gonna be a long trip and a long way back. No, I regret it, I regret it. It's gonna take me longer for me to get to the ship. Get the ship over there. Sail around the stupid wing over here. And then walk all the way to the dungeon. Can I, can I park this thing here? I can. Oh, feels good. Oh, hey. Let's test the water first. 45 to the teeth, 3 to the water, they're not that bad. You can measure how strong enemy is by watching how much damage they do to the warrior. If they do over, over 40 damage to the warrior, they're super strong. Be careful. If they do less than 50 HP to the warrior, they're not that bad. What? What? What is this? What the fuck? Okay. I just got a message and I need to pay something. <laughs> 10 monthly subscriptions. People with Persona 3, I didn't really like that. What was going on with the story, character soundtrack, but it's got repetitive to me fast. Yeah! Some people be like that, they don't like... The, re the battles are especially repetitive. Since you keep encountering the same um, the same enemy group over and over like this, I'm fighting the same group again. Nothing new going on, and we'll be we'll be fighting these guys for a for a while now. But but I like it. Ah, wrong way. Another thing is that random battles they really they really cut your you know, your adventure, they put a halt. So I can see why people are annoyed by it. But to me, in my mind, I'm getting chased by tigers right now. Like, oh shit, we turn to explore, but there's tiger uh, territory over here. Anyway, we got to this castle. Let's explore. The Citadel of Trials. This is the... Hey, you come bearing the crown, I see. Your fortitude cannot be questioned, indeed not. Very well, I shall grant you the right to undergo the trials. Go now, sit upon the throne. Your courage will be put to test. If true courage dwells within you, you will find proof of it there. Yep, this is the side quest. This is all a side quest, by the way. This is optional. But it's one of the coolest things you can do in the game. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, oh, okay, let's complete the trial first. Oh shit, Medusas. Let's focus on one first to test how strong they really are. Chris can take one by himself. By himself. I can take one by myself. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
<laughs> oh yeah, you still get experience in this. I don't know if I have enough gold needles then. Oh, these are portals, they take you to a random place, not a random place, to a different place. And the trick here is to always take the portal which is south. For example, we have two portals here. Let's take always the one that's most to the south, so this one. How do I know? Because I play this game a lot. <laughs> Simple as that. First few times I got lost for a while here. I was running out of resources. I think I came here unprepared without gold needles, so the Medusa stunned two of my guys. And I had to do the entire dungeon without two of my guys. It was hell. And once again I came here without buying gold needles. Gold needles. I like the way you explain what's going on, because Lord knows I'm lost. Yeah! Yeah. That happens in RPGs sometimes. May maybe I should play Final Fantasy 2. That I don't know that well, so we'll be both lost. Oh no. Mind Flyers, if I remember correctly, these guys have an insta-kill move. Oh shit! Oh, that was only paralysis. <laughs> That's acceptable. Die! Almost level up, not for Kratos because he died. Okay, let's go south. Oh, it, it didn't matter. <gasps> I want it, I want the treasure, come on! A potion! Yes! Best treasure in the world! And a zombie Minotaur! Dude, you're brave, it's not stupid to come at me alone. Die. Mm -hmm. I see where this game stands, see? This is the South small, probably. Dragon zombies? Here? Not in the final dungeon? I should want to play Final Fantasy 2 on stream, hey chat? What do I do here? No, 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 no. That won't happen. The thing about Final Fantasy games... So I'm going to use fire out in life, not pulling punches. It's that they tell you where to go. Okay, they not that strong, but they paralyze me. They tell you where to go, they're like, you know, you should go west, there's a cave, and I like the shit that's in that cave, so bring it to me. Every time. So, except on this one, that I haven't figured out how people tell you where to go. I, th I think once you get the airship, you're pretty much free until you visit towns. The problem with Final Fantasy 2 is the dungeons. The dungeons are not fun. I don't I don't remember how the dungeons go that much, but I remember how they end. They all end, or the vast majority of them, end with a group of doors, five doors, four of them are fake, and one is the real door. And that's stupid. Why would they do that? No one knows. That's how it works. Who the fuck are you? Are these are horny devils? Hey, get your horniness out of here. You're a lot, so I'm going to... I think I'm going to go turn that on you. Oh, shit! Please don't spam that. Please don't spam that. Oh, no. Okay, that wasn't the regular fire. Oh, shit. Bastard. Oh yeah, I have magic too, asshole. Yeah, get swept. Did I just say horny devils? I don't know, did I? 
No, I wouldn't disrespect the game like that. What are you talking about, Jacuzzi? Don't put words in my mouth. Aw, oh, what do you want? Are you also a horny devil? Oh, you're a nightmare. I am your nightmare. Oh, you sneezed at me and I'm blind. You not only made me look cooler. Fuck off. Yeah. Oh, finally we got some good stuff. Can I equip that? You cannot equip the hills. Oh, she can. Okay. Now, this. This item right here. Did I? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Best two worst Metal Gear Solid games, in my opinion. The best is three. I think that's no contest. The best Final Fantasy... <laughs> Sorry, the best Metal Gear is three. And the worst goes to four. But my personal favorite is... Is Peace Walker is was Peace Walker because online was super fun. Um, I think Metal Gear Solid uh, One is around the middle. Why is this fucker still alive? Yeah, best Metal Gear Solid 3, worst Metal Gear Solid 4, and favorite, Peace Walker. And if it's not Peace Walker because the online doesn't work anymore, I think I'd say 3 too. No, it's, it's just fun fucking around with the guard. Steel Globes, Ice Brand, and a Ruby Armlet for Chris to wear. I don't think rubies are harder than silver, but in this game they are, so I'll take it. Can't equip shit. Thief can equip shit. I can run, I keep forgetting I can run in this game. Oh no, horny devils. Let's put the null blaze spell. I'm going to put this. Agree. Metal Gear Solid 3. It's just that you are so much free in Metal Gear Solid 3 to, to do stuff. You can capture animals, you can uh, you can eat them, you can throw them at the enemy, you can use the bosses, you can use these guys. The camouflage is amazing. Don't worry about the new blaze Powie. Thanks for nothing. Okay. Paui, please kick on the null blaze. <laughs> this guy resists. This, this guy resists ice. Oh shit. Okay. That's okay. Just heal us. Okay. Let's check what fire does. When it comes to four, for some reason, I just couldn't click with it. Maybe it's because I was trying to play it right up until the solid 3. Ooh, that was hard. And you know how I love 3. But it was just kind of sad and depressing. Yeah, 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 yeah. My problem with Metal Gear Solid 4 is that it wasn't as fun. It was not just... It wasn't just not that fun to play. When I was having more fun in Metal Gear Solid 4, it was on the first episode, you know, during the battlefield. And sometimes you can take a side, you can pick a side and fight off among the chaos of the battle. Oh shit, play golem. I don't remember what these guys are weak to. I'm gonna try ice. 
and, and if you fight very well, the other soldiers are impressed by, holy shit, who is this guy? He's, he's winning off the battle. That was fun. But then it was over. And I think you've taken to South America, to Brazil, maybe? Why am I poisoned? Oh, I got the healing stuff. The cast heal every time we use it. Okay, let's use... Let's fetch me an antidote. Uh, we got the gauntlets. I think the gauntlets also have... Yeah, they cast Tondara when you use them. Now we're receiving items with... Can you equip them? No, you can. Can I equip them? No, I can't. No one can equip, equip the gauntlets. Let me check. Let me check this. Hold on. Where are you? Ah. Ah. Okay. No party members can equip this now. Well, fuck you too, game. Akhoresh. Some gold. And more gold. Oh, here we are. We found the rat's tail. <laughs> okay. What do you want? Two dragon zombies, no problem. Oh, I'm going to have you use the healing stuff, and you use the gauntlet. Oh, you can you can go and do equipment now. <laughs> Fuck you, team. <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> now we have infinite heals and infinite tandara. This spell costs no magic. There we go. And that's it. This is all a side quest dungeon and we already beat it. I don't think there are enemies here in the fifth floor. Let me explore the corners. Ah, nothing there. What's on the other side? Nothing. Nothing, thank you. Okay, now that we have the rat's tail, we can go back to King Behemoth and get some seriously cool shit happening. Where did I left my airship? It was on the on the wing, right? Why will I not use the healing stuff? And the one Ow! Man, it's so good now that I don't have limited inventory. That was a problem in the classic game. The way the inventory worked in the original game is that every party member had like... how much? How many? Six spaces of items. So you could only carry its items per character. Am I going the right way? So, yeah, that meant that sometimes when you had too many items, you had to discard some in order to pick the new stuff. For example, you found a she you found you found a chest. <laughs> this guy. You found a chest and it says you're carrying too much stuff, you can't open the chest. So you have to take a gamble, discard something and hope that the shield contains something useful. And sometimes it's just a potion. Hardest game you've ever played, Adventure Island 2. No, Adventure Island 1 for the NES. Hardest game I've ever played, 
in my entire life it hasn't been topped yet. Dark Souls, uh, Neo, Ninja Gaiden, Hell, Devil May Cry, Dante Must Die Mode. Those are walking the park compared to Adventure Island. Where was the king? Was it in this one? I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even hesitate to respond. That game has still the hardest. No contest. No competition. Hardest game I ever played by far, by a long shot. That game either you beat it or you don't. You know, there are no checkpoints, you have limited continues, the game is super fun, but it's hard. Hard as shit. Damn, Adventure Island is such a trouble for you. You played it, Jacuzzi? What is it that makes that game so hard? You need to play the game so much, you know, to to learn the patterns of the bosses, the levels, and if it's game over, it's done. You're back to level one. I think that's why it's so hard, because game over and you're back to the beginning. So you cannot brute force that game unless you're playing an emulator you know, and your save states, but I don't save states, not to progress, I mean, no, maybe to save time. Never touch the... <laughs> it's, it's fun, but when you play it, don't try to beat it. The next game, next game, second hardest, it's probably Streets of Rage 3. That game, I didn't beat that game, I watched someone beat it, and he had to use save states. Not that seen DMC no item rounds before they were a thing. <laughs> Except that that's the regular run. <laughs> it was not a challenge run. Anyway, the, something cool is going to happen when I give the rat tail to King Bahamut, so let's do it. Long has it been since men of courage stood before me. Your bravery seems worthy of consideration. The rat's tail you carry is a fitting token of courage and strength. So be it, I shall honor you with titles befitting your valor. A nice animation there with the wings. Sparky, Sparky is happening right now. Oh yeah! Class upgrade since 1989. So now I am a knight. Chris is a ninja. Paui and Kratos are wizards now. So what's new? New is that the knight can now use low level white magic. The ninja can now use low level black magic. And, and the wizards can use the highest level of spells, level 8, level 7 and level 8. Oh yes. 